Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Five win streak and we're due for an Isaac run. It's feeling pretty good. Mind you, statistically speaking, no curse here, which is great. Huffamix 19TZ. I've said the same thing for years and everyone thought I was crazy. Uh, statistically speaking, we're probably pretty unlikely to find ourselves having a, uh, oh come on. It did get it, thankfully. Uh, we're probably statistically unlikely to find ourselves having a Mom's Knife Dark Judas run again. We've had a Dark Judas run two runs in a row, which is just kind of hilarious, but there you go! Our first curse room is the Pentagram. At some point, I can no longer be impressed by our amazing luck. I just sort of have to accept it as reality. <laughs> we've... We've had some pretty incredible luck lately, and, and I like it. It gives me a chance in these episodes to, you know, relax a little bit on the mechanics of the game and, and focus more on, on providing entertainment, but we shouldn't relax too uh, too much just yet. The Pentagram is not a, a guaranteed win, uh, and we could be fighting the Haunt here, which could cause us some problems. So many problems, in fact, that I'm going to pick up this Spirit Heart right off the bat, which is normally a little bit uh, of a, a suboptimal move, I would say. But now we need to ensure our success, and actually having this battery, ensure our survival, I should say, success comes later. Um, but uh, having this battery charge here is actually awesome, because I can pick up that unicorn horn, or I could reroll that unicorn horn into the parasite, which I think is much better, and we haven't had this in a long time. Uh, it's potentially better. If we get, like, Fire Mind, I'm going to curse its name forever, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm relatively pleased to have it. Full health. Luck up. That's also really good. And we can take this into our boss room still and reroll whatever we get into something that's hopefully better, but maybe worse. And with four bombs, a very unlikely uh, amount of consumables to have right here, we should be able to have a good chance of finding our secret room, even if it's not in the most likely situation, which always, uh, you know, grinds my beans a little bit. I think it might be here then? Okay, three bombs, oh my god. You don't say anything on Skype! And then I start playing Rebirth and you say something on Sky. It's blowing my mind, man. I think they're actually... I think Nick and Mathis have like a... Uh, their own Skype chat and they go... You know, they collude and they go, Hey, Northern Lions playing Isaac, why don't you send him a message this time? I'm telling you, man. It's guaranteed. Do all these fuckers have stuff to do in their, in their lives? Why are they Skyping all the time? My co-host is Skyping all the time, Skyping all the time, Skyping all the time. I'm telling you, man. The Party All the Time renaissance is happening. GTA 5 is going to make it a reality. I never thought Party All the Time was that bad of a song. I'll take it. Everybody uses Party All the Time as like the punchline of Eddie Murphy's career. Motherfucker was in Norbit, man. That is the punchline of, of anybody's career. It's the punchline of the whole industry. Fuck you, NL. I like Norbit. Look. Stop. <laughs> you gotta... It's up to you to, you know... I'm not trying to be a snob about it, but I'm just saying, you know... There were movies that I was like, fuck you, man. This movie's pretty good. And then I realized, wait, was it good? Or was I just nine when I saw it and I thought it was funny? Because if you're nine and you saw it, you didn't like it. What you're basically doing is just trusting a nine-year-old's opinions on the medium of film. It's you as a nine-year-old. However, you know, you're still a nine-year-old, you know? You gotta, do, you owe it to yourself to go back and, you know, kill your idols. Go back and watch those movies you think you like so much. I'm telling you, you might find yourself a little bit surprised. Or maybe you'll find yourself appreciating all of the, uh... All of the adult jokes in Norbit that maybe you didn't get when you were younger beyond the initial, you know, Ah, Eddie Murphy's wearing a fat suit! Ha! <laughs> you did it again, Eddie! The master! Fuck you, Dustin Hoffman! Alright, let's get down here. HP, obviously in a little bit of a weird spot. Uh, I didn't even talk about spawning the arcade. Somehow we did. Oh, because the secret room gave us uh, 7 cents. That's right, so that's why we had enough money, and we might actually be able to pick up something from our shop. We're gonna need keys in order to do that. Hopefully our secret room... This is a very scary room, by the way. I nearly had, like, a mental fart there, and, uh... Got hit by that guy. One of these champions can take away our spirit heart and put us in a very dangerous position. Luckily, that didn't end up being the case. Alright, so this is good. We have a, um... We have a battery charge, and now we have a key as well. How do we handle this? We gotta go item room. But, we don't necessarily have to spend our key on the item room if the secret room is right here. Please. 
Okay, that's fantastic. Now we do have a chance to go to the shop, and we actually have two rerolls that we can use on our item room right away. Which is good because Dead Sea Scrolls is shit. Anemic is not good, but it's not so bad that I'm going to say no to it. I don't want to put ourselves in a more difficult position with rerolls. It's basically what I'm trying to get at. So we'll talk about our shop. I am trying to get the 15 cents here. Worst case scenario, we can probably blow up our arcade machines to make it happen. But let's deal with our boss first. And it's Larry Jr., which is not that bad. But I am going to pop the Empress card just because I, I don't fully trust myself to to handle this without getting hit. And we definitely want to put ourselves in a position where we're as safe as possible because our HP is not amazing right now. I'm very happy to just take an HP upgrade and then come in here. You know what? I like you guys, so I'm not going to take Mom's knife. Oh, please don't do me any favors, Northern Lion. Okay, I'm, seriously though. I'll take Abaddon though. That's something I can get excited about. Don't hate the player. Hate the game, man. I re-rolled the item that everybody would have wanted to see me re-roll. I'm not taking any flack for that. Um... I'm going to blow up both of these. I don't think you can get them both at the same time. So that puts us up 14 cents. We need one more cent, and that's definitely going to happen. Abaddon plus Pentagram, obviously a huge damage dealer for us. With two keys, we... I mean, there could be a library. That's a library, and it has two batteries on it. Let's go to our shop first. Because uh, we might want to reroll our shop several times. I'll tell you what. We'll buy this, because it'll give us the five bombs in the process. And then we'll reroll it. It becomes Converter, which could allow us to be Abaddon, but pull our Spirit Hearts back in the other direction. But I don't think I really want to do that. I recognize, by the way, that we could reroll the book several times and, and hopefully turn our library into item rooms in the future. But I'm actually more interested in uh, getting something from our shop here because we've already paid for it. Worst case scenario, at this point, we paid 15 cents for two Spirit Hearts and four bombs. Five bombs, sorry. And that's a pretty good trade already. Plus, I'm, I, the the I, the book room, the library, is only going to give us books, and I don't want to replace our D6 right now. So we, for 15 cents, we just picked up two spirit hearts, five bombs, and the map. That's a, that's a good deal, if you ask me. Now, we didn't get to, I didn't even pick up Telepathy for Dummies, so it could show up again, and that would serve me right for being a little bit lazy about it, but uh, let's move along here. This is definitely a great position. Abaddon plus Pentagram is a little bit too early to call it a one run. It's not quite there, but it's it's close. Parasite helps. Sacrificial Dagger is, in my opinion, the best orbital uh, in the game, at least for a damage dealing perspective. Occam's Razor has failed me. I would totally take an Eternal Heart here for future deal with the devil, you know, usage. We're gonna get pills instead, though. Hematomesis is fine. Telepills uh, is annoying, but otherwise fine. I figure we might as well take the opportunity to shoot the poop there. And we're going to be much, much slower. We were already on, like, uh, Caves 2 at this point on the last run. But at the same time, I'm happy about it. We did go to our item room. It's going to look like we didn't, but we um, we bombed our way in. Bombs are key. That's really good. Balls of Steel is amazing. And Tears Up. That is one of the best rooms for that I've ever actually had. That's awesome. Okay. Down to the next floor. Really, really strong position moving forwards that I can't take that much credit for. Curse of the Unknown. We're at full HP, but it's with um, it's with Spirit Hearts, not Red Hearts. So that's worth noting for potential deals with the Devil. But uh, we wouldn't expect probably to have a deal with the Devil on this floor. But we do have the Pentagram, so there's a slightly higher than normal chance of a deal with the Devil after having a deal with the Devil on the floor that directly preceded it. We will... Oh, we have the map, right. So we will do something with uh, Bob's Rotten Head if we have surplus rerolls, which I think is fairly likely. The map doesn't show us secret room locations, so that's that's up to us to divine, but... I don't really mind... Uh, you know, with, with so few keys, I don't really mind it. I like Cursed Eye, man. <laughs> I, I like it in this situation at the very least. I may regret this decision at some point, but for now... Um, I, I kind of, I think it adds a cool dynamic, and it adds a little bit of uncertainty, which is something that's actually kind of important, uh, given that we're in such an amazing position to start with here. Totally three skulls for a bomb, I think is, like, absolutely worth trying for. And basically, we have, like, a miniature version of Brimstone, which is almost more of a liability than it's worth right now, but we have this miniature version of Brimstone that can pretty much one-shot one enemy. If there's an enemy in our face... Oh my god, it actually, with the Parasite, it's actually a little bit even better, because... The runoff shots actually have a pretty good chance to kill the enemy uh, 
uh, directly adjacent to them, if there is one. Directly adjacent! I've never played Heavy Rain. True story, though, I almost bought a, a PlayStation 3 just to play Heavy Rain, man. Back in, like, 2008 or 2009. I'm into those games that are, like, 80% cutscenes. I know it's, it's not uh, fashionable. I really, really like Max Payne 3. And the, the principal complaint about Max Payne 3 was like, oh, it's like more movie than game. I was like, yeah, but as far as game stories go, it's actually like, it's pretty good. It, well, at least I think it's pretty good. I'm into it. Um, tell you what, I'm not going to reroll Bob's Rotten Head. Yet, at least. Simply because I don't think we'll get another reroll in time. So I'm going to go for it here. Like, I'm into, I'm into Metal Gear Solid uh, 2, man. Games like... At least 25% cutscenes. I think we, you know, me and my cutscene friendly brethren have spent too long being the laughing stock of the industry. Now, mind you, again, I've never played really a, a David Cage game, so it's possible that I might think Heavy Rain is actually super shitty. But if it's super shitty, I wanted to, I want to come to the decision that it's super shitty on its own merits, not because of you know the concept of the game. Alright, so we're going to be fighting Pestilence here. I'm very thrilled to be getting a second orbital. We're 1 HP below max HP, but you can't get like 4 deals with the devil that are separately 3 spirit hearts each anyway. So, we'll be content with this. And, yeah, totally reroll Book of Sin into Guppy's head. Now, we won't be able to take Bob's Rotten Head with us. And we should maybe teleport, see if we get an error room. Could have happened. And what are we going to do with Bob's Rotten Head? We're just going to leave it. I'm I'm not concerned about it. I'm happy with how this went down. We'll save our money for the next floor. And uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with the way that this floor went down. We did get a tears upgrade. We got a cube of meat. We got a guppy item. We got cursed eye, which may or may not be a terrible decision. Comments right now are like, there's no ambiguity. It's a terrible decision. Whether it's a terrible decision you can deal with is what remains to be seen. Why don't you just go watch a movie if you're going to play a game with a lot of cutscenes in it? Why don't you just freaking go join the army if you're going to play a first-person shooter? That argument is needlessly reductive and, dare I say, maybe even a little bit intellectual dishonest, man. Intellectually dishonest. And if you think that my argument is invalid because I made a minor grammatical mistake in my diction there, that's intellectual dishonesty again in its highest form, man. I'm not saying everybody needs to have, uh, you know, an Oldsmobile in the driveway and a copy of Max Payne 3 in their, you know, computer entertainment systems at all times. I'm just saying that. I think that game got shit on for its concepts. But I could use a little fuel myself and we can all use a little change. All I'm trying to do is make it okay for the people who like Max Payne 3 to come out of the woodwork and, you know, not worry about, uh, what people are gonna say about them, you know? Not worry so much about other people's opinions. I want you to be able to say that Max Payne 3 is a good game. Maybe not the most controversial opinion in the games industry, but still. Use me as your... as your spokesman. Maybe it's because, you know... Grew up playing, like, console games back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and cutscenes were, like, the height of technological achievement. You're like, oh, shit, do you see that graphic in the cutscenes? Sure, like, the the player character actually looks like absolute shit when the game starts, but, uh, you know, in the cutscenes, look at how fully rendered they are. That's amazing. Alright, so, I hate to do this, but here's how I'm thinking this run goes right now. Sacrificial Dagger is our main damage dealer, allowing us to hold a full um, Cursed Eye Charge, thereby making it so we never teleport. That's just for now. If we pick up a little bit more damage, I could be uh, I could be coerced into doing it a different way. Two Pretty Fly Pills there is huge. Two Mushrooms for, for one bomb is not a uh, fantastic trade, but it's a trade that I'm going to be okay with in our situation here. It's not that we're doing shit damage, it's just that... Uh, we kill enemies a little bit faster with Sacrificial Dagger than we do with, with our own tears. I fall victim to this all the time. Like, every time I get Sacrificial Dagger, people are, people are like, you are not using it properly, you're taking damage, you should be using it as like a last resort. I don't know, man, I'm Offensive Orbital guy. 
I think it gives me a very, very slight disadvantage in vanilla play. Like, not vanilla Isaac, but vanilla Rebirth. But when it, when it came to the challenges, I think it gave me a little bit of an undue advantage. Like, some of those challenges that people think are super difficult, I, I'm not going to say I thought they were easy, but I got through them maybe on the first try or maximum second try because, uh, I don't know, I got I got training using uh, using orbitals effectively here. The cat's got your tongue one, we'll never speak of that one again, even though I think I did beat it first try. I'm, I'm not the most, uh, the most adequate Guppy's hairball user. Let's just put it that way. I still kind of don't understand that item as much as maybe I should. Oh my lanta, that is a good golden poop right there. We're up to 30 cents from 14 a second ago. Uh, I will take this. I will take it and I will be happy to have it, even with the speed downgrade that sucks pretty hard. It's not the most amazing item in the game, however, the ability to crush skulls makes it worth whatever the potential negatives are. So stupid, I thought that creep would have dissipated like a second ago. But then it didn't, and I was like, but it should have, so I walked over it. Very stupid of me. That's alright, though. We got the money here. And yeah, totally. Humbling Bundle plus Starter Deck. Absolutely. Sign me up. That's a great package deal here. And the Fool card does allow us to get out of Boss Rush if we so choose. We are going a little slow to make that uh, the most likely outcome, but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Consumables should not be much of a problem here. We've been to our shop. We've been to our item room. The speed downgrade, it, it sucks, man. Don't let me tell you that the speed downgrade does not suck here, because it sucks. However, there's still a huge benefit for us when it comes to those skulls. Not just in tarot cards, especially now that we have starter deck, and, and runes now that we have starter deck, uh, but also in uh, the black hearts that we're going to get, for sure. We'll take the HP. We'll just head down to the next floor. Again, probably a little bit too slow to make boss rush happen. Maybe we'll just teleport out of a curse room instead. We'll see, though. Curse of the Labyrinth. Oh, maybe we're not too slow to do boss rush because we, uh, normally a Curse of the Labyrinth kind of sucks, but in our current situation here, we might be able to make it work, so let's take a look for where, all right, <laughs> bleeding HP a little bit here. Let's not be super stupid and completely throw this run. Where would I be if I were a boss room? Definitely bottom left. I think there's, there's very little question about this. This is actually a room where we can totally use our orbitals to finish the job for us if we're smart about it. This should be a huge floor. Um, one way or the other, it's going to be a huge floor, I think. And if you think I'm not going to teleport out of boss rush, you got your you got your honor sensors messed up, mate, because I will absolutely do so if I think it helps us uh, win this run. Not that we're in a bad position, of course. But I'd still, uh, I'd like some insurance if I could. And I, I hate to say it because we were guppy on the last run, but it was kind of a squandered guppy, you know what? This run would be a much, much cooler guppy because of the parasite. I think we'd be generating a stupid amount of flies. Maybe I didn't give Abaddon enough credit. It actually seems like we're, we're pretty much one charging enemies. I will take the rosary. Uh, this will mean that the Bible shows up, which basically, I took the rosary... It, it's, it's almost like the patience mutation in Nuclear Throne. We're going to have to re-roll later. Should be cracking these skulls, I guess. Um, we're going to have to re-roll later as a result of this pickup, but so be it. Perthro, that helps out a lot. So we'll take Perthro the Fool for now. We got a rules card. Chub dislikes smoke. Not sure if you knew that. We have a better teleportation card than the Fool, so we'll roll with that. Uh, very, very displeased with this. That might put the... Might put the hurt on our chances here for actually getting to boss rush, but if we... Oh, Pyro is so good. Now we just need Bob's brain. Oh, why use a bomb there? Right, I have the ability to teleport. Very... St or, uh, the ability to crush them myself. Very stupid. There's also Bomb Bag. It's probably one of the worst secret room items. But I'm... I'm planning on getting into that boss rush room as soon as possible, so... I'm sacrificing, like, our present value for future value, is my thinking. We, we still got a good amount of time here, so let's go back down the way we've already been. And after we teleport out, we will be able to take the opportunity to, uh, uh, to come back and go to the rooms that we haven't gone to. Particularly our shop, but also if there's like a curse room or something available, wouldn't mind it. This Perthro room, sorry, Perthro rune could be pretty big. It's a fool, so that's what we want. I would be amazed if this were not our boss rush room, or if this were not our boss room over here. Two of them dead. I'm very displeased with the amount of damage I took on this room, but 
So be it, at least I didn't teleport, and this one should be a little easier. Fear Shot hard counters these charging enemies pretty hard. Bomb Bag pays out with double the bombs, I guess, as a result of, uh... As a result of Humbling Bundle? This is not our boss! I should have known that a second ago, but still, man, that is... That is unlikely. That's just stupid. Take forever to spawn. Now we're at 18 minutes. And wouldn't it be great, and I think this will actually end up being the situation, I'm pretty sure it's going to be right next to where our item room was in the bottom right that we teleported away from. So we might have cost ourselves a chance at boss rush by trying too hard to get to boss rush, which is in its own way. I would have had to backtrack anyway, but... Ah, oh, never mind, it was right here. All right. So for those of you who hope for me to learn a lesson about boss rush there, that's bad news. <laughs> but for, for me, it's fantastic. Mask of Infamy should not be... Uh, it won't be too easy, but... Shouldn't be that bad. A little easier to hit the mask as a result of the parasite shots, I think. And whenever the mask runs into us, like I'm taking a lot of da a lot of damage here. I think, no, 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 no. I know there's money back there. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but I think a lot of it is due to to our uh, lack of speed. I'm actually gonna do these rooms. I think it'll be just as fast to do them, which actually makes no sense now that I think about it. But fuck it. My brain broke! My brain's broken! Don't come up to this room! Okay, let's give up on boss rush. I've been teleporting too much. This is cursed eye, man. But this is... I almost feel like when the game gives you fucking, you know, lemonade right off the start, you should try to make lemons just so it becomes more fun. But I am taking a, a very, very unhappy amount of... a damage amount that I'm unhappy with. Um... We could still do it. We just gotta beat Mask of Infamy and Mom within a minute. Yeah, that, that's not easy. Let's throw down some bombs here. Stay still. Stay still. You're being a real dick right now. I got pyro, so I'm like, I'm not sweating the bombs that much. I guess I should stand like right in them. I actually think it might be faster to kill mom than mask of infamy in this situation. Strangely enough. Come on, you got it. You're dead. Alright, I'll take it. I could use the speed upgrade after the uh, god awful uh, Thunder Thighs speed downgrade. Watch out, there is a. Um... Ooh. Yeah, that's good. There is a bomb rock here. I'd rather not hit it. I'd say that gives up the, the dream here. That's fine though. It happened. Let's, let's concentrate on improving ourselves here. Uh, we can now start using our rerolls. I'm gonna start by going to that cursed room. I apologize for uh, the focus on boss rush there that has caused me a lot of spirit hearts in the process, but I thought it would be uh, a good chance for us to succeed, and it, it turns out that it probably was, but I botched it a little bit by taking too much damage. It's cursed eye, man. Which is my fault because I picked it up and, and probably should not have, but. Never let anybody tell you Northern Lion's not. Uh, He's not in it for the absurdity. There goes Boss Rush. He just ticked us by. That's fine. No, to that's fine, man. No problems. No problems. Not really digging the, the fear shot interaction here. With knockback. Tell you what, let's open this. We should pick up the Bible. Okay, leave one of these guys alive. Pick up the Bible. Reroll the shit out of it. I'll take it just in case we get Dark Bomb and then we'll teleport away. We've already used the secret room many a time here, but still better to do it this way, I think. So now we we've paid our uh, we paid our costs. Uh, we paid our cost for uh, the the Rosary pickup, which the Spirit Hearts from the Rosary we squandered pretty hard, but so be it. This is potentially really good. Awaz rune. I'm gonna try for a. Uh, Black market or a crawl space? Again, I guess we wouldn't know. Wheel of Fortune. There's something to be said for it, but I'm just going to throw it down and blow it up so I can take the Fool card with me. Although, now that I think about it, why would I want the Fool card instead of uh, Wheel of Fortune? Valid question. Most important thing right now, don't take damage. Nah, 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 man. We can take damage. Just don't walk into that hole right there that would cause you to, unfortunately... 
completely miss out on your chance to get the Polaroid. This is actually potentially a lost run, and that's my own fault times a thousand here. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hold on to Perthrow, get rid of the Fool. We could still get a deal with the Devil, and I think it's not even very unlikely. In fact, I think it might be the most likely. Pretty huge humbling bundle plus golden poop there. Um, you have something to reroll? Oh, it's a trinket. Okay. Make our way down here because the shop is available. All right, this should be like our I. Excuse me? I was going to say this should be our ideal room, but I fucked it up real hard. This is where, and it hasn't happened in a while, but you got to say, Northern Lion, calm down. Northern Lion, be cool. Don't let yourself uh, slip away here. You got a great chance at this run, and the game has given you some some great abilities. Every uh, everybody goes through some times of strife here. What defines you is not whether or not you go through the strife, but how you come out on the other side. Not taking ringworm. I'm very sorry. We're not in a ringworm type position right here. I gotta worry about my own survival. And it's not getting easier in the in the meantime here, but it's okay. This is a, a situation where we could throw it really hard on the uh, on the mom fight. We could actually, if we teleport on the mom fight, we got some real problems. If we teleport again on the mom fight, we've teleported like eight times on this floor, which I'm very not proud about. Devil card. I don't know whether or not it beats the Empress, but. Strength card. Not thrilled. Tell you what, reroll. I don't really want sharp plug. There's another battery available. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I already picked it up. It was on the big room, I think. All right, we'll donate our money. At the very least, we're gonna get something out of this run. There we go. And that something was about uh, ten cents of donation. When you're in a bad position on HP, you might not really. Consider coming to every single room down here. I'm gonna though. What's our ideal situation? We fight Blue Mom, she gives us a fuck ton of HP. Like Spirit Hearts. Or... We... Fight whatever version of Mom. Our deal with the Devil is uh, Guppy's Paw. That's a big out for us. Or... Uh, we fight Mom, she gives us HP or something like Squeezy or Magic Mushroom. Giving us much more survival. There are still many outs for us. I mean, I would still probably... I should probably pick that up, huh? The the important thing to note is that it's actually very hard for us to die as a result of the fact that we have a lot of bombs and pyro. Hagala's rune. Completely unnecessary on a rune that small, but that's fine. Thanks for the HP. Uh, yeah, I mean... It, it is... It's very, very unlikely that we die. The only question is whether or not we'll ever truly live. I almost feel like just to avoid teleportation, our best chance is actually just not firing against Mom. And instead focus on using like... And it, completely that's gone out the window already. Uh, just focus on using um, Sacrificial Dagger instead. Come on. There we go. After the foot drops... We can't uh, take damage against it anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. I figure maybe we'll... Come on. Keep your red hearts here. That's good. Uh, just try to keep, like, as much... A as often a charge as is humanly possible here. Where's the foot? Where's the foot? Where's the foot? Nah, it's a hand. Where's the foot? I don't want to keep firing! <sighs> so close. I'll fire this time. Don't lose the red heart. Don't lose the red heart! There we go, we made it. And we did get a deal with the devil. That was very dangerous, and we're not out of the woods yet at all. We should be! I very much mishandled this. That's okay. Most important thing is, you know, the result that we end up pulling from this one. We had like nearly full HP. So this, I'd almost like Krampus's head and then reroll into like Dark Bum. Halo's baby is not Dark Bum. That being said, it's not terrible. 
We could have re-rolled it again with Perthrow, but I feel like that's better saved for when we want to get rid of the D6 and then replace it with another item and then we can re-roll the D6 afterwards. Alright, uh, it's not going to be to the right here, let's be honest. Really got to look for Tinted Rocks as well. We could try to play that, but it's kind of risky. Um, I don't mind the idea of going to special rooms. As long as they have something of value. And that room might, actually. That might be worth doing here. Let's try it. Bad start. It's going to be bosses, of course. Larry Jr. is not so bad, though. Goathead. If nothing else, that guarantees us a deal with the devil on this floor, which might be, uh, might be very meaningful. We got a lot of bombs. I don't love the idea of using them as anything but, like, portable yum hearts. Shit. But, uh, we will, on occasion at least, if it speeds it up and is less likely for us to lose our spirit hearts as a result. That should do it. At least takes it very, very, very close. And we got one more wave here. Man, this is the, this is the tightest run we've had in a long time. Which, in a way, I'm actually very appreciative of. Feels like we're actually going to have to test our skills. Mostly because I squandered it. <laughs> but still, you know, it's a good test of skill that we haven't had recently. It's a little refreshing, actually. A lot of runs recently have just been very, 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 very strong. I think I got to take, like, a different philosophy with these enemies. Like, with, with every room, instead of focusing on, like, being flashy, just get a kill, man. Like, that early pickup is extremely important. The more enemies you kill quickly, the less enemies are on the screen, the less bullets are on the screen, the less likely you're going to be, you know, freaking hit. But it ain't about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. Excuse me. I hate these guys because, like, the knockback makes them nearly GD impossible to actually hit. More than once in a in a barrage, at least. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Trying for like an HP upgrade, I guess. It's a it's a tall ask. Let's be honest here. It can happen though. All right. So we don't even have to worry about uh, HP like spirit hearts against our boss. <laughs> that was extremely lucky. Instead. All we have to do is not die. And with Pyro, that's a that's a doable order here. Probably second secret room, like right here. Yeah, just Occam's Razor did. Ah, very useful. I'll pick it up right now. I don't really want to use the Devil card yet if we can afford not to. I'm going to be fighting the Bloat. Not an easy fight. <laughs> he, he created the creep, like, about... Two pixels away from me. So that's pretty lucky. I don't know what's going on in his brain right now. He's very confused. Almost feel bad for him. Uh, bombs helping out. We might be able to get out of this without even getting hit, which would be nice. Not that uncommon for a fight like this, but I'm really, really pleased with it. Caffeine pill, I would love to reroll. In the meantime, though, we gotta reroll that first. And it, it turns out okay. I'm just gonna take caffeine pill because we have starter deck. Uh, it gave us a pill anyway, but if you're gonna give us a pill, a luck upgrade is actually pretty good. So, we have not really, uh, we've not sold this run yet. Feeling like probably the top area somewhere is where we're gonna go. Um, ooh. Don't really want safety cap, even though I understand that there could be better than expected potential implications as a result of safety cap starter deck. Oh man, okay. Useful, very useful. In fact, that wouldn't have even hurt me to begin with, but uh, actually found a Tinted Rock. My over-under for Tinted Rocks is like two per run. Purity Rune, very happy to have it. It's looking increasingly likely, but this is still, I think it's like a stopgap measure. Uh, basically, I'm, this will give me the chance to live longer, and I'm still pretty much just trying to live to the chest. If I live to the chest, I should be able to have a, a pretty good chance of success, especially if you keep picking up runes like that in situations where you wouldn't otherwise expect it. Extremely happy to have found the boss room so quickly. I don't expect an easy fight against Mom's Heart, but... 
That doesn't mean it's gonna be super tough. Say, kill this guy as quickly as possible. We got like fat odd mushroom here, I think. We are very, very, very slow. Relative to our normal speed. That's okay. And this is not gonna be, you know, your average mom's hard fight. We gotta be very cautious about teleporting, by the way. It hasn't happened to us in a while. We can't really afford to let it fade from the forefront of our mind, though, because if I get, you know, 80% of the way through this fight, 90, 95% of the way through this fight, and I teleport, I'm gonna be very displeased with myself. I almost just wanna let mom's heart kill Teratomo here. And we'll just focus on having a full charge so that we don't teleport. And, you know, if we can use our, uh, we can use our orbitals to finish the job, then great. Definitely the most nerve-wracking mom's heart fight I've had in recent memory. Just can't afford to be hit right now. I almost just want to go up and finish the job with Sacrificial Dagger, but... Here we go. Full charge. I was going the wrong way, but I actually chose to kind of walk into that so I could get a shot off guilt-free. Maybe not the smartest idea, but we made it happen. Now we're going to the cathedral. There were a couple of times in this run where I didn't think this was going to happen. I can't stress enough that the game has given us great RNG. I've just kind of squandered it. Um, I'm going to say up is where we're going to find... Oh, never mind. It's not up, it's to the right. Thank you, Liberty Cat, man. Huge help. Shots doing an okay amount of damage when they hit. I worry about the cathedral, though. I worry, um, or not the cathedral, sorry. I, I, I worry a little bit about the cathedral, to be honest, but I'm mostly worried about the chest. There's some really, really heinous rooms that could, that could do me pretty dirty. I don't really care about the mini boss room. I don't really care about the curse room. Uh, I don't really care about the mob trap room. I mostly just care about getting out of this floor with as much HP as is humanly possible. I didn't expect that bomb to necessarily hit anything. Mostly just, uh... Oh, yeah, we should just walk into those. But is that guy... I can't tell, thanks to Curse of Darkness, if he's, like, blue. If he's gonna explode into some bullets when he dies, which would probably hit me. But with bomb... Oh, no, 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 no. This is the other side of the map! It's the other side of the map, you dick! It's alright. Widow's easy. Crash into me like a Dave Matthews Band song, baby. It's alright, we can make it out of this. Monster 2 is not going to be too tough if I can just goad him into doing that, basically, as much as is humanly possible. Do it again, baby! Yeah. Oh, no! Very terrible damage. I can't go to the curse room. I can't do it. Secret room, maybe? You know, we've got a lot of bombs. I don't think that would have found it. It would have found it. Probably. Um, these guys, I can't tell if they're champions. So I'm just going to not worry about it by staying as far away as possible. Fear Shot kind of clouds the reality there. Man, Dark Bum would have been such a huge pickup on this run. It's alright. This is a, it's a test of skill, man. You wanted some a run with uh, a little bit more difficulty? Here you go. Putting you on blast a little bit. I appreciate it. This is indeed what I asked for. Can't deny that. And we actually, all things considered, to make it through this section of the game where we got teleported accidentally uh, and only taking one extra hit in the process feels pretty okay. Check for a secret room. We can skip that other room, so I'm going to skip that other room. Even though it shouldn't have been that bad. This room is better though. So good. So close to just being able to focus on the Isaac fight. We've really got to not teleport. Oh, this is potentially pretty good. Fear Shot neuters them super hard. And we'll pick up a Spirit Heart from this, which actually, we're in that kind of position where one Spirit Heart can make a huge difference here. Which is why I'm going to be looking for the second Secret Room as well. Probably here, I guess? No? Alright, well. I'm going to pop the Devil card because I think this is the most important... Um, fight in the game right now. Whatever room we're on is the most important fight in the game, but this one in particular is the it's the skill and item check prior to the chest. I gotta try it. I'll, I've got extra motivation on this run because if I lose, 
There's a huge element of it being, um, well, in my fault, yes. But additionally, there's an enormous element of it being uh, Cursed Eye's fault. I didn't even see that guy thanks to Curse of Darkness and uh, the fact that he had Fear Shot on him as well. Very scary. Very, very scary. Thank you. Just get to the next phase, my life becomes so much easier. Get it back up here. Good stuff. Um, yeah, th if I lose this run, you could definitely make a pretty convincing argument that part of the reason I would lose it is because I picked Cursed Eye. I like to have fun with it, uh, but in order to continue to justify having fun with it, we're going to need to win here. Otherwise, Cursed Eye becomes kind of item non grata, right? You know, we can't, we can't collude with it anymore. Very, very, very close to the end of this Isaac fight, and I haven't taken any damage at all. I say this all the time, you guys know I don't play up false drama in these videos. I mean, any drama with this is false drama because it's a video game. However, I'm not making this seem like harder than it is right now. At least my I'm not deliberately doing so. This is, uh, this is genuinely a pretty tough position and we made it out and I'm very thankful for that. Let's move down to the next floor. We got four items. No curse, that's huge. Probably pretty big, the soul. D20, not that interested. Virgo, could be huge. Gemini, it's okay. So I'm gonna reroll the D20. I think Juicy Sack is fine. It's not like a game winning item, um, but I will take it nonetheless. Because occasionally having spiders is gonna help me out. I say yes to spiders. Spider Babby! Might not be as excited about, but, uh... Juicy Sack, the creep, along with the, uh, friendly spiders will help out. Items. Items. Heal me up, Scotty! Alright, let's look for, uh... Let's look for secret rooms. We found one super quickly. Not a key beggar, much to my chagrin. Now, here's something you're not gonna hear me say on the chest all that often. I wish that we would get some HP. Because, oh. Yeah. You know what? I think we just per throw that. Mr. Mega. I wish that we would pick up some HP. Because 1 HP does not give me the ability to actually heal myself really with Pyro. So uh, I'm really hoping we get a lard pick up here. This would be basically perfect. Then I would have a window to heal myself with, um, with Pyro. Pyromaniac, I guess, specifically. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So originally this looked terrible. Just get a full charge and run through it, man. Now all we have to do is actually beat, uh... Is actually beat Blue Baby, and I think we're gonna be able to do so fairly easily, actually. The main draw... Main problem, I should say. Don't... Teleport out. If you teleport out, you got real issues here. Let's try it. So I'm thinking, run up, drop some bombs. I wanna almost keep, like, a full charge this entire fight, because I can't risk teleporting. If I can just get in there and place some bombs, you know, the soul's gonna keep us somewhat safe. Most important thing is just don't get into the position where you're getting hit, like, multiple times. Uh, and the, the, those bombs don't hurt us. I don't need to run away from them. I think Mr. Mega Bombs plus Pyro is actually gonna win this one for us, man. It's extremely unlikely at this point that we die. And this is, this was a tough win, but I'm very happy that it appears that we're going to pull it out just fine. Oh, That was a little more stressful than I'd like to admit. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.